so here I am in the more western sector of Lachine. Lachine. And uh, how can I not make a video here? Okay, it's breezy, but it's just absolutely gorgeous. And this is how the other part of uh, Lachine residents live, you know. this. But don't be fooled, as much as these are beautiful vintage homes, they're very expensive because they're by the water. What's behind them, is, again, is still in this area, blue collar. There's the uh, lighthouse, the lighthouse. And I just saw a vintage Bentley S2 parked over here. I don't know if I can see it from here. I can't see it from here, but anyway. I think it's a 61 or something. Look at that big yacht. Reminds you of that hip hop song. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. Huh? <laughs> right by the shore here. And I'm uh, heading slowly toward my mom and uh, father-in-law's house on 49th Avenue. And in that part of uh, Lachine, well, it's like the more you move west, the more people have some dough, you know? Not, 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 not that they're implying they're rich, so that's not what I'm saying. It's just middle class, you know? We're here, it's more really blue collar more than anything, you know? Yeah. And uh, we are past uh, 33rd Avenue, I think. Look at that, this chick's jogging. She's in a t-shirt. Probably about 11 degrees. I'm wearing fucking gloves though, mind you. you know? There's a gas metropolitan truck. which are based uh, not far from where I live. Oh, it was a great move to come here, seriously. Especially since uh, it hasn't been sunny lately. I actually hesitated on, you know, continuing this video, let's say that, because, you know, I guess sometimes it gets tiring holding the camera and always blah, 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 it's because it's one of the reasons why people watch my videos, because I'm always talking. Blah, 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 blah. Oh bloody, oh blada, life goes on, yeah, na, 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 life goes on. I just filmed a uh, Citroën de Chevaux going by, and then a block before, what did I see? A Renault 5, or as it was marketed in the US, a Renault Le Car, which just sounds stupid, actually. I guess because if they were to call it Renault 5, it would sound stupid, I, I don't know. Anyway, whatever, they made that car a long time, and I didn't make a video feature of it because, frankly, I always thought those fucking cars were ugly. Simple as that. Oh, there's another boat there, too. Is that a fishing boat? Uh, what the hell is this? What the fuck is this? What is this shit? Oh my god, is there boat sinking? What the fuck? It's like, what so? It's like a raft. Oh, I don't know, man. Listen, I don't know, man. Me, I get older. The more I get older, the more I don't understand what people do. I guess it's a sign of age. Oh, no, maybe not. What am I talking about? When I was young, I, I just didn't think about it. The thing is as much. Oh, look at that beautiful Challenger going up the street there. Oh, that Challenger is a beautiful automobile. Yeah. Plane on takeoff somewhere. Dorval. Dorval Airport actually is like literally, I think, in the direction where I'm pointing. Dorval, which is of course right after Lachine. Lachine. And I mentioned it before, and I'll say it again. Lachine is called Lachine because back in the day when uh, Jacques Cartier discovered uh, Quebec, his friend discovered, I think his friend, another explorer, discovered Lachine. So he thought it was China because Lachine, Shin, is China. So he thought it was China, so he called it La Shit. See? Okay, let's see what's parked over here. Anything good? I was actually on one of these streets near here earlier, and I was actually looking for a, an old flat black Econoline van I saw. No. Nay, nay. Yeah, you got a real 
variety of uh, variety of homes that are here by the waterfront. Like, look, this this is a typical 70s design. Wow, that looks heavy. That that one too. Then you got other homes. Like, look at this one here. This is not for the poor. Eh? Check this place out. As a matter of fact, you can tell when a home is. You know, look at this fuck. Look at this. The guy bought the property and he took every fucking square inch he could build between those houses. Because look, look at that. There's like, there's like almost no gap between those houses. So, hence the term prime real estate, you know? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Fuck. Maybe it's one of these houses. Actually, maybe this one is even older than those two. That one is not that old. That's old. That's old. But I don't know about this one if it's really old. We're going to get off the bike path. This is interesting. I don't know if I've ever done a walking video where I started in a poor air, poor part of one borough of Montreal and then I, I start, you know, continue the film in another area that looks, fr quite frankly, completely different over here. And that's one of the reasons why I like this part of town. It's variety, you know? La variété. Check out this home. It's, oh no, that's two homes. Excuse me. Ah. Right, right how? Good to be enjoying this because, uh, again, days like this are fleeting, unfortunately. What's on the other side of the river? Uh, I think it's Shadagay, Ganawagi, Gandiac, Boharmo. Guys, uh, what in the fuck? I don't understand this. Oh yeah, it's actually got a boat motor on it. Oh, I don't know, man. Whatever. Whatever. I don't know why I have that classic 1955 song in my head. In the still. Of the night, do -do, do -do, do -do, do -do, do -do. I remember those nights in May. Do -do, do -do. I think it's the Five Satins that did that. I always love that song. How long am I going to film this for? No idea. Oh, I saw that pure later truck there. Yes, the parcels must keep moving. Right? Or else you'll have some pissed off people. Because a lot of people don't have any patience today. And that could be unexpected in this modern day super highway. Have a fucking, everybody's got a computer on their phone and get it shipped the same day or the other day. And I want it right away. And AS, AC, ASAP, ASAP. Why isn't it here? How come it's not here yet? Why is it late? You know? And uh, I am rocking my fucking awesome vintage, mint condition, 1970s pimp leather jacket. And I don't wear this jacket ever in inclement weather, only when it's not going to rain because I want it to last a long time because it cost me a lot of fucking money, man. I bought it last year at the Salvation Army on uh, Notre Dame Street and uh, I paid 50 bucks for it. I thought, man, that's a lot of money, man, because I, uh, I never spent that much money ever on a leather jacket. Uh, used one, I mean, because the other ones were usually like, I don't know, 15, 20 bucks. But that was years ago I bought those. I still have one I bought, like, I don't know how many years ago. And uh, it's, uh, but it's all tattered and I don't know what to do with it. Uh, nothing interesting, eh? Nay, nay? Hell, I can tell by those fucking rear view mirrors that they're all boring. <laughs> yeah, I'm a tough critic, man. I'm a tough critic. I'd just like to live in one of these places. Yeah, I could do that. No problem. Easy. I'll tell you something. If I ever have money, that's the thing. Maybe I'll, I'll just live by the water. No obstructions from view whatsoever. But that being said, if you live near a body of water, a river, or ocean, whatever, there is always a major risk for flooding and therefore damage. That's not cool. Mind you, the water over here, as you could tell, would really have to rise up. But still, it's not impossible. Oh, I forgot. 
c'est pas impossible. Okay, so let's see if I can finish this off on a high note, eh? What do you think? That would be cool. That would be nice. And when I mean a high note, I mean like, I don't know, a cargo ship right away down there, or a, uh, you know, some classic car, some hot car driving by, which is not unusual because it's such a beautiful road. Uh, I'm stupid too because I didn't tell you what fucking street this is. This is called Lakeshore. Or uh, AKA in French, Bord du Lac. Because Lac in French is Lake. Lake? Lac? There you go. See that? Look at the variety of construction of these homes. You know? Good looking in Bala, Assess, even on top of that. Yeah, I can just picture using some of this footage as a thumbnail and people clicking on it starts off in this fucking quasi ghetto of this working class area and they're like what the fuck is this is this the same place you know maybe yeah beautiful fall foliage kind of wish I had somebody to share this moment with right now frankly uh, yeah seriously uh, it's just really nice you know always with somebody Reminds me of that classic song by Wilson Pickett. Everybody needs somebody to love. Sugar to kiss, sweetheart in this. And I need a you, 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 oh, I need a you. It's weird, look at this. Now we're coming up to this very average looking, it looks like a ever, very average old apartment building. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a Porsche right there. Oh, look at this. There's an old Chevy van I filmed years ago. Two years ago. Still working this fucking thing, which is weird this day and age. Because this vet. Oh my god, I just stepped in major mud. Fuck. Chute. Ah. Ah. Anyway, like I was saying, it's become so rare now in this part of the world, in the Rust Belt as it's known to see a van that old that's still being uh, used as a commercial vehicle must be really well cared for and this of course being the last of its type around you know mid 90s 96 and under we're all in the fucking boneyard junkyard I'm vlogging I'm documenting look how gorgeous this is this is the total opposite from fucking Hochelaga, unfortunately. You know? Or the Pointe Saint Charles or Saint Henri. The list goes on. Fuck. Really? Really? Come to think of it, if I were to walk up there though, I would hit uh, uh, Broadway Street. Oh, why is my stomach grumbling now? Well, I think that Chevy uh, G20 van class, cla classifies as a ending on a high note for me and all, some of you guys. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed that. And man, I got to take a whiz now. I couldn't be in the worst place for that. There's nothing around here for that. Christ. Oh, by the way, uh, I usually say this for nothing because I only get certain people who send me something uh, on a regular basis in terms of a token of appreciation for what I do and a donation via, you know, PayPal and... Uh, uh you know uh, an e-transfer and all that but if you want to send me something 20 bucks 10 bucks five bucks 100 bucks thousand dollars whatever uh, you can do that with my email which is elton like elton john mcfall elton mcfall m-c-f-a-l-l -L, at hotmail.com elton mcfall at hotmail.com and thank you very much in advance and thank you merci for everybody else also who's given me so, sent me so many things i mean there's scott there's michelle there's earl uh i can't even think of any other of you guys either you know i mean i can't can't remember everything so uh anyway so uh there you go and this uh, gorgeous gorgeous day and i'll just leave you here for a few seconds to uh bask in the glory here without saying anything of god's country
Bye-bye.